Hi, Days fans. It's just me today. Um, I don't know about you guys, but this week, this last week of school before Christmas break is kicking our butts. So we have not been getting the recap done as we should, but it just means, so here we go. I really, really, really think that EJ is going to, um, I don't want to use the word force, but he's going to make Nicole, um, do something of a physical nature with him. Kiss, hug, you know, get busy. So that she cannot continue this um, charade of being with Brady but pretending she's not. Because that is where Brady will draw the line. If she starts making out with EJ or something, he is not going to put up with this little thing anymore. And then she really, really will have to pick um, whether she wants to be like Cindy's pretend mom or uh, Brady's love interest. Um, Gift of Amber made an interesting point on Twitter recently that perhaps somehow in some crazy way Nicole really is Sydney's mom and I would love that with every fiber of my being and I don't see that that's that out of the realm of possibility storyline wise. Now, I am thinking storyline soap brain right now, not reality, not what might have happened to um, any of us when we gave birth. Put that out the, the window. I'm talking days, soap opera. So this is how it could have gone down. Nicole had her miscarriage kind of late term at the same clinic. Dr. Baker, we know, is a shady guy who would do just about anything for money. Um, so... He's the one that told her her baby miscarried. And, oh, oh, he's the one that delivered Sammy's baby, and Sammy didn't get to see her right away. And um, just what if, somehow, he had kept that other baby, you know, put it in the incubator, whatever you do for severely preterm kids, and then, oh, the day that she's supposed to be born. I mean, aren't babies supposed to catch up with where they would be at birth at some point? So, I mean, if these babies were supposedly conceived at the same time. Now, I know, logically, they weren't conceived around the same time, but the storyline was trying to make them seem like they were. They found out they were pregnant around the same time. So, that's just my thought. It would be awesome if Sydney really was Nicole's baby. Can't wait for that to find out. Coming along that line, let's talk about Daniel and this craziness. Everybody wants the storyline to come out. It's not going to come out anytime soon, in my opinion. They only had the affair in April. What do you think of that Santa's coming early this year? We don't get secrets coming out only eight months later. How does she even have that baby by now? I don't know. Um, and by the way, Chloe is looking awfully fit and perky for just giving birth, but that's a whole other topic. Um, there is no way that we're going to find out about this baby. Well, I'm trying to use history here. And for, um, like, for instance, Will, we didn't find out till he was close to two. And for Claire, she was almost a year, I think. It was around around a year. But for Belle, they found out by, I think, her baptism. She was pretty little when they found out Roman wasn't her dad. So I guess there is a possibility. But what are they going to do now that Daniel is certain Philip is lying? And he's probably using his whole, like, I'm a expert doctor. I can tell by the way your eyes are looking and your pulse. And, you know, doctors can tell stuff about your physical symptoms of lying. I want to know, how are um, Philip and Chloe going to cover this up? So far, Chloe has been taking the complete brunt of all this. She's the one that's been having to deal with Carly and get paternity tests, and she's let Philip completely off the hook. I think it's time for Philip to stand up. And if I were him, I would say, you know what, yeah, I did kiss that girl at the pub. I didn't want to. You know, she came on to me, and it all happened so fast, and Stephanie saw that. And that's the cheating that she was talking about. It's perfect. Go with that route. Don't ever tell him you slept with his wife. It's not going to go well. There is no way anybody's going to get happy forgiveness out of that. Please, 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 dear God, do not let Stephanie and Nathan go through with this wedding. Melanie, just confess. 
tell these people that you really love Nathan. Don't make a baby with Philip right now. That wouldn't be prudent. Nobody wants to see that happen right now. You know what wedding I want to see go down? Victor and Maggie. How freaking cute was Victor holding that little baby Parker? That baby Parker makes my freaking uterus hurt. He's so cute. Makes me want another kid, that little baby. But, um, I don't know. I think that there is a chance that with time, Maggie will realize that Victor was just trying to protect Brady, and Brady had made this colossal mistake, and there was really no way to fix it. Where the hell is Vivian lately, anyhow? She makes me nervous when I don't have an eye on her. God only knows what she has planned, but I don't think it's a good thing. I don't think anybody should really be resting easy. But, Nicole, you're lucky you're at the Kiriakis Mansion now, because you're probably safe. Brady probably should, or not Kiriakis, the Jamera Mansion now. Brady's the one that's in the most danger there. If I were him, I might think about uh, going abroad for a little bit, taking a little vacay. So, I think that's all I have for today. It's a kind of a short recap. You'll notice I'm freezing. <laughs> I moved to Florida because it was cold where I lived before, and um, evidently... I haven't moved far enough south because here I am in my home with my coat and scarf on <laughs> because these windows behind me are like conduits to the outdoors. There's no insulation at all in this house. Enough of that. You don't care. I can already feel the snowballs coming hurling at me from those of you that live farther north. So I'll stop on that vein. But I think lots of good things are coming for Christmas. I'm excited, and I'm looking forward to our little Christmas Eve toast amongst all of us. We will be up in New York, so we'll toast you from there. And let's see what Thursday's episode. Thursday can sometimes be as good as a Friday. Sometimes they, uh, it's like a pre-Friday, you know, Friday Eve, if you will. So looking forward to what do they have tonight. Okay. So the couple that watches stays together stays together even when we're not together. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a great day.